what I'm going to do is run cloud on. Logs me in. And it's taken me to the Dropbox folder. That's the, the folder I was in previously. So let me go back to home just by tapping the home. And you can see there I've got my box, my Dropbox and my Google Drive set up. I've already set those uh, those accounts up and linked them to Cloudon. But I'll show you, show you how to, to link those in a minute. You've got three buttons at the top. So if I tap on that first button, that cycles you through different views. So we've got a kind of icon view and we've got a, a list view or a details view. So that's the first button. The second button, which is the cloud on button, tells you you're connected. You've got a link to a tutorial. You've got link to feedback and support and you've got your settings. So from here, you can log out. You can even delete your account. You can change your password. And this is where you can uh, set up your services. So if you wanted to change the Dropbox account that you were linking to, or um, if you hadn't set up Box or Google Drive, then instead of saying update service, it would uh, allow you to actually configure the service. So if I go to Dropbox, I'm not going to change anything, but this is just to show you what the uh, screen would look like. All you do is type in your uh, Dropbox credentials there and sign in. And very, very similar for the other two for Box and Google Drive. I'll come back to the third button shortly. So let's just go back and I'm going to show you file management. So let's go to Dropbox and go into the file management folder. It's just got three uh, Word documents in. Um, so the first thing I'll do is show you how to rename Tute As to Tutor Assessment. All you do is tap and hold and it brings up a menu. Click on rename, delete out. And there we go. Now it is live linked to your Dropbox or your Google Drive or your uh, your Box account. So if I was to open up um, those services in a browser or open those services up uh, on my desktop in the case of, uh, of, of Dropbox, then you would see that the file had been renamed. I'm going to delete this pre-course questionnaire file. So just tap and hold, menu comes up select delete and that actually gets rid of the file it's it's updated the screen if the screen display doesn't update for any reason you've just got a refresh button over on the right but usually it does if i uh, write if i tap again and hold for a few seconds uh, i can cut and copy and 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 uh, email as well so if i wanted to email this file I just click on email and then I can specify who I want to send the email to. Um, I can send it up to, I think you can send it up to five people um, at any one time. Pressing the little plus sign there allows you to select people from your uh, contacts list and you can, uh, you can type some comments. What it does is it sends the email from, in my case, it says Dropbox demo. That's because um, the Dropbox account that I'm linked to is Dropbox demo at uh, a particular email address. And although you've got it, you, you do have the ability, as I said, to link to uh, three different services because originally when Cloudon came out, um, it only had the ability to link to Dropbox then what it's doing is it's taking the email address uh, of your of your currently attached Dropbox account and that's uh, what it's emailing from. So even if you were emailing um, from your a, a file from your Box account or your Google account, it would still appear to come from the Dropbox email address. So I'm not going to send that. I'll just cancel that. But that's straightforward. It's just sending an email. 
If I wanted to um, move a file, then say I wanted to move it to uh, another folder, this tutor assessment, what I'll do is I'll drag it, drop it up to, or drag it up to Dropbox, and drag it down to this folder called Demo. So it's gone from there. If I actually go back home, go into the Demo folder, it was there, it is Tutor Assessment. So let's take it back, drag it up to Dropbox, drop it back into the File Management folder, and it's gone from there. Let's go back into the file management folder and it's back. And again, of course, you know, this is just an, an interface into your Dropbox account. So it, it really is updating the contents of your Dropbox account. If I wanted to email a link to somebody, then hold that. Okay, in fact, I'll come back to that. I'm going to click on this button here. Okay, I'm going to go um, over to this button here on the right. It's got a, like an arrow on it. For some reason, you haven't got the send link on that, that menu that drops down. So tapping on that button there brings up a whole host of options. It's actually very similar to that menu that comes up. There's just a couple more options. So you can actually create a new folder. So I could create a new folder. I'll call that uh, test folder. And I've got a new folder. So let's go back into there. I then need to select a file. Just tap on it once. And I've got the commands like cut, copy, rename, delete email, and there's send link. So if I select send link, what that's going to do is that is going to send a link to uh, the, the, um, the file. I've got an email address that I'm going to send it to. And I will send that. OK, let's open up my mail app. That's not the email, by the way. That's the uh, that's the email. That's uh, email dog is something I'm going to show you uh, shortly. So there's the email. It appears to come from Cloudon. And it says um, Dropbox demo has shared. And it gives you the name of the file. And there is the link itself. So if I tapped on that, that then takes me out and it's going to attempt to open the file. It's having trouble opening the file. I'll leave that trying to open the file and let's go back to mail. Now, if I go to my mail and here is an email that's come in, tap and hold and choose open in. What I'm going to do here is actually open the mail in Cloudon. So tap and hold the attachment, choose open in. I get a list of files, a list of uh, apps that I can use. Select Cloudon. And what it does is it will open the file in Cloudon. There we go. You can see there's the word interface. Um, so I'll do something fairly simple because I'm going to show you that you can not only read the file, you can actually make changes. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually just selecting text. Just drag my finger across. You do have to be fairly precise and, and um, I usually take it fairly slowly. It's, it's, you know, it's obviously not as quick as using a mouse, but let's, let's make that bold. Let's make that red. Now, I didn't actually mean to do that, so just clear the, uh, the keyboard away. 
there isn't actually a facility to save in this. When you come out of the, um, the, the file, it auto saves. So when you look at the menu and the ribbon, you've got a uh, paragraph, styles, edit, arrange. It's not exactly Word uh, 2010, but it's very, very similar. But it, it, you know, it is based on the interface. But the file menu is disabled because the way this works is that um, it auto saves, which I suppose is good and bad because it therefore doesn't give you the option to say, no, I don't want to save my changes. Although, of course, you do have the undo facility. So I'm going to tap on that little um, little icon, I suppose you'd call it, just above file, those, those three stripes. Tap on that and that auto saves the file and takes me out of it. Let's go back to Dropbox, back to the home actually, and do a refresh. And what you've got now is you've got a folder called Uploads, which is automatically created. That is that is part of the Cloudon uh, configuration. It creates a folder called Uploads in your Dropbox, and that is where it puts any file that you open and edit via email. So you get a file coming in and you want to open it and edit it via email. You do that, opens it up in Cloudon, you make the changes, you save it. You don't have a say in where it's going to be stored. It automatically puts it in an uploads folder in your Dropbox account. If that folder doesn't exist, then it creates that folder automatically. Let's go into that folder. And there is the file. Tap on it and reopen it. So let's come out of it. If you want to create a new document, then you go to the folder where you want that document to be created. So let's go back and let's go into the uh, demo folder. And you tap on that third icon at the top. It's the one with the application icon on it. So tap on that and choose the type of document that you want to create. So if I want to create, say, an Excel file, I'll then need to give it a name. Let's call it Demo1. Tap on New. And it creates the file and takes me into Excel.